Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a first look at the brand new Diamond George Gervin, who is the Path to All Star player for today here in NBA 2K24. My team. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 20,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. We are coming down to it with this path with the Path to All Star, uh, as Gervin is now the uh fourth last player in this uh set we got three more diamonds coming this week on tuesday through thursday of course and then the final pink diamond reward on thursday so interested to see who those players are going to be this week but george gervin is obviously a relatively big name nba legend and this card has the potential to be a decent card we'll see i'm not sure how good he's actually going to be before we hop into um would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe help me push towards the twenty thousand subscriber mark on the channel trying to hit that by the end of the month of February and yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's take a look at George Gervin. He's six seven at shooting guard, six foot ten wingspan, hot spots in both corners, everywhere inside the three point line. Eleven hoffs include a bunch of great finishing badges, mini magician, and then um, I mean he's missing agent three and limitless range, but you can I guess add every badge. So I guess that's kind of cool. Defensively he's fine, but he doesn't have anchor. He doesn't have brick wall. Um, playmaking wise, pretty good. Uh, not really missing any important playmaking badges. He's not bad. He's honestly not bad. He's missing some shooting badges, but he's got great slashing ability. Um, he is a pretty good playmaker with off blow by and handles for days, as well as speed booster on gold. And defensively, not a bad card either. Like this card actually looks honestly pretty solid. I think he's going to be not a bad option at the shooting guard position. 85 driving dunk, 86 three ball, 93 speed, 90 excel, 92 speed with ball. Defensively, pretty good as well. I mean, overall, not bad. Pro dribble style is a good dribble style. The rest of his sigs, I mean, not amazing, but Steph's drag back is good. We'll see what the behind the back looks like. Uh, the release is... Eh, I don't think this release is amazing. I don't love Isaiah Roby's base this year, um, but I guess we'll have to see. Lou Dort, I know, has a good upper, so... Um, I don't know. We'll try him out, and we'll see what we think of the card. That's that's the honest truth right now. That's all I can say is we're going to try him out. We'll give him a chance, and we'll see what we think of the card because, honestly, he doesn't look awful. I mean, he's got good size. He's a position. He's a great slasher, great playmaker, pretty good defender, and not a bad shooter. Um, and, yes, he can get the badges that he's missing as well, which is nice. At the same time, I don't think he's good enough to where I'm going to recommend throwing badges like Agent 3 in the most range and Anchor, et cetera, on him. Like, are we going to use those badges when you're limited on how many badges you might have on a card like George Gervin? In my opinion, the answer to that is probably not. But at the same time, you could definitely say, I mean, this George Griffin card looks really good. Like, he looks like a legitimately solid option as a diamond. Like, I think he could be a pretty usable card. He might not be insane, but he's going to be a pretty usable option. And uh, definitely at least an intriguing option. At the shooting guard position, we're going to try him out today and we'll do gameplay with him and see how good he is because honestly, it doesn't look bad at all. Regardless, man, I think that is actually going to do it for today's video because there's really not much else to go over for this. Uh, interested to see how we get this card in a little bit. And obviously, I got y'all with the gameplay coming in a bit as well. With that being said, though, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.